Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing the new Zara Into the Gourmand perfume set, including Velvet Shadow and Splendid Bronze. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started. Zara just released a new collection in their minimal line containing eight perfumes in four sets of two. I'm interested in a few of the sets, but I was most excited to try the Into Their Gourmand set that I'm featuring in this video, which contains two new fragrances. The other sets are Into the Joyful, featuring Someday Sometimes and Les Heures Passant, Into the Floral, featuring True Amore and Spirited Romance, and Into the Wood, featuring Nobody Knows and By Love. The perfumes come in 1 ounce and 3.4 ounce bottles, and I'm annoyed to find that Zara just raised the prices on these a couple weeks after their release. I purchased the larger bottles for $29.90, and they're now $35.90 US. The packaging in this collection is pretty plain, I guess to go with the minimal theme, and it is a decent weight, but I think I prefer their other style of bottles that they use for scents like Red Temptation. The scents in the Into Their Gourmand set are Velvet Shadow, described as a gourmand and lovable fragrance that evokes the sensory warmth of a kiss while preserving sophistication. And Splendid Bronze, described as a sweet and special fragrance perfect for lovers of gourmand scents. And now let's get on to the reviews. First up is Into the Gourmand number one, which is called Velvet Shadow. And this has main notes of bergamot, jasmine, and marshmallow, with an additional note of mandarin. And this opens with the bergamot and jasmine, and it feels a bit sharp at first, but it quickly starts to soften and sweeten as the marshmallow comes in, and the mandarin adds a brighter citrusy feel. The scent continues to sweeten as it dries, and it has a powdery vanilla candy feel. The sweetness doesn't feel cloying or thick, and once it's dried down, it's mostly sweet, powdery, fluffy marshmallow, that feels clean without being soapy. I think that this is really feminine and pretty. And to me, it's a nicely balanced mix of the sweet marshmallow with touches of citrus and a soft underlying jasmine. If you wanna know how much I like this, I already bought a backup bottle. And for comparisons, first I have Zara Barbie, which has top notes of orange and neroli, mid notes of powdered rose and orange blossom, and base notes of vanilla and tonka bean. And when I first saw the notes for Velvet Shadow, I wondered if Zara was duping themselves, since they seem to be refusing to restock the Barbie perfume, and the notes are pretty similar. Barbie is a warm, citrusy, neroli scent that's quite powdery and sweet. It has a soft floral, as well as a vanillic sweetness. And it feels like powdery marshmallow with a bubblegummy quality that gets sweeter and sweeter over time. While these are quite similar, they aren't exact dupes. They're both very sweet, powdery candy scents with a citrusy brightness and a marshmallowy quality. But Barbie is more powdery and bubblegummy, while Velvet Shadow is more floral. After a slightly synthetic opening, Barbie dries down to be much sweeter than Velvet Shadow's softer marshmallow. I feel like Barbie is more youthful and fun, while Velvet Shadow feels more refined. I really love both of these, but I have to say that Barbie has a slight edge as I do like the added bubblegum sweetness. However, I think I would wear Velvet Shadow more as it feels more suitable for different occasions. And note that Barbie also seemed stronger than Velvet Shadow. And I'll do a few other comparisons in this video, but you can also check out my Zara times Barbie review for additional similar scents. In that video, I mentioned that I don't have Parfums de Marly Oriana, which may be similar to both Barbie and Velvet Shadow. It shares the notes of orange, bergamot, and marshmallow with Velvet Shadow, but it has additional fruits, as well as whipped cream and musk. I don't see myself shelling out for Oriana anytime soon, so I'm happy to have what may be a similar scent for a much more reasonable price. Next, I have Rose Marshmallow Candy from Zara, with notes of marshmallow, blood orange, and vanilla. And this was rumored to be the same as the Barbie perfume, and to me, it was not. It has a vanillic, marshmallowy quality, along with a syrupy citrus, and despite the name, I don't really get any rose from it, although there is a hint of greenness. These share the citrusy marshmallow combination, but rose marshmallow candy sweetness 
has a more syrupy vanilla, as well as that touch of greenness, while Velvet Shadow is sweeter overall and has a more prominent floral. Then I have Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, and it has a lot of notes, including neroli, bergamot, orange blossom, honeysuckle, iris, and marshmallow. And this is a sweet, candied floral that smells like bubblegum, but with a marshmallowy quality. It has a lot of sugary sweetness, as well as a sort of cotton candy-like feel. These are similar, as they're both marshmallow scents with bergamot. But Love Don't Be Shy feels warmer and has the bubblegum quality, while Velvet Shadow's citrus is brighter, and the scent overall seems a touch sweeter. Next, I have Byredo Sundazed, which has top notes of mandarin orange and Californian lemon, mid notes of neroli and jasmine sandback, and base notes of cotton candy and white musk. And this is a strong, citrusy scent with a soft, powdery floral and a sugary cotton candy quality. These share a mix of mandarin and jasmine with a powdery candy feel. But Sundays is much more citrusy and doesn't have the fluffy marshmallow sweetness of Velvet Shadow. And lastly, I have Magnetic Candy from Finery with notes of sugared violet, pink pomelo, and cotton candy. And this is very similar to Byredo Sundazed, but I wanted to include it since it's a more affordable option. It's also a sugary sweet cotton candy and citrus scent. So again, this is more citrusy and sugary, while Velvet Shadow is more powdery marshmallow. And the other scent in the collection is Into the Gourmand number no. two, which is called Splendid Bronze. And this has main notes of jasmine, orchid, and black vanilla, with additional notes of orange blossom, heliotrope, and cashmere wood. And this opens with a sweet, heady floral that feels mostly like jasmine, with a touch of citrusy brightness from the orange blossom. I get a lightly powdery quality from the heliotrope, and the vanilla adds a dark, syrupy sweetness. I don't get too much of the cashmere at first, but there is a subtle musky woodiness to the scent, and I feel like it's more present in the dry down. To me, this is predominantly a white floral with a rich vanilla sweetness. And while it is sweet, I wouldn't say that I'd classify this as a gourmand fragrance. I do really like it though, but be aware that it is quite floral. And for comps, first I have Mugler's Alien Eau de Parfum. And I have a limited edition bottle, but this is the regular version of Alien, with notes of jasmine sandback, cashmere and wood, and amber. And this is the famous jasmine perfume with a bit of a powdery, clean quality and a lot of ambery woodiness. It's quite a strong floral and not something I wear too often as I do prefer sweeter scents. These share the jasmine and cashmere wood and do have a similar floral feel. But Alien is ambery and woody, while Splendid Bronze has a vanillic sweetness. Next, I have Mugler's Alien Eau Extraordinaire, which has a lot of notes, including bergamot, tea, neroli, orange blossom, heliotrope, cashmere, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. And this is a lighter version of Alien that retains the white floral, but has a brighter citrusy feel. It also has more sweetness, as well as a green tea note. I like this version of Alien much more, and it also has a similarity to Splendid Bronze. Alien Eau Extraordinaire shares the orange blossom, cashmere, and heliotrope with Splendid Bronze, as well as the vanilla sweetness and citrusy touch, but it's brighter and less intensely floral. Then I have the original My Way from Giorgio Armani, with top notes of bergamot and orange blossom, mid notes of tuberose and jasmine, and base notes of cedarwood, vanilla, and white musks. And this is a sweet, effervescent jasmine scent with a lot of bubblegummy tuberose. It has some citrusy brightness, as well as hints of musk and woods. These share the jasmine, orange blossom, and vanilla, but My Way is sweeter and brighter and has the bubblegum quality, while Splendid Bronze is more jasmine heavy. So despite the common notes, these aren't that similar. Next, I have Classique Essence de Parfum from Jean-Paul Gaultier which has a lot of notes, including tangerine, ginger, orange blossom, jasmine, whipped cream, vanilla, and cashmere wood. And this is a sweet floral with creamy vanilla and a citrusy kick. I love the combination of the orange blossom and fluffy whipped cream that give it an almost marshmallowy quality. These both have jasmine, orange blossom, vanilla, and cashmere wood, but Classique Essence is sweeter and creamier, while Splendid Bronze is more heavily floral with stronger jasmine. And finally, I have Cashmere Kumquat from Corez, 
And this has top notes of kumquat, mandarin, and orange, mid notes of orange blossom, jasmine, and almond, and base notes of cashmere, cedarwood, and vanilla. And this is a clean, woody white floral with citrus and some creamy sweetness. It has a bit of an alien feel, but it's lighter and sweeter. These share the orange blossom, jasmine, cashmere, and vanilla. But cashmere kumquat is creamier and has more of a clean feel, while splendid bronze is more focused on the florals. So that's it for my review of Velvet Shadow and Splendid Bronze from Zara. I do really like both of these, but Velvet Shadow is my favorite, as I love sweet powdery marshmallow scents. Splendid Bronze is a lovely floral with sweet vanilla, and I'll definitely enjoy wearing that one as well. I found both of these to have good strength, especially for Zara fragrances, with Splendid Bronze being a bit stronger. Longevity will vary based on where and how much you apply but I got well over five hours with a light application before it started to be closer to the skin. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to give either of them a try. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.